from Northern Ontario. It's a nice cold day to here today, about minus 17 C. Um, today what we're going to do is we're going to put the thin cork that I talked about in the last uh, video. We're going to glue it on top of the, uh, the baseboard cork that I've used for the, uh, the quarry. Uh, I prefer this surface because it's not as rough. I mean, I'll just show you. We'll just go over here. You can see very much so that this is fairly rough textured cork. And so I'd have to use a lot more grout and stuff to uh, uh, to fill all that in. And uh, this, uh, this cork that I have is one millimeter thick. Um, and so uh, it's uh, it's what I use for all my roads, and uh, I, I think I've already talked about this a little bit. We're, we're talking about the um, this uh, over here, this uh, crossing that I decided to put in, where I put uh, a one one millimeter thick piece of cork in in between these two tracks here. So we'll just take a quick tour of the quarry now. And you see where we're at. So. Uh, what you're, what you're looking at is uh, the quarry from the side. You can see the buildings up in here. You can see the, uh, the co conveyors. Now the conveyors are a combination of ones that I designed and, and, and 3D printed and ones that I bought from uh, uh, Shapeways. So you can see that there's a curve there that starts way down in the bottom here and goes all the way up to the top. Uh, all the way up to the top to, through two buildings. Two buildings, this one here, that one there. And then into the main, main building of the, uh, the quarry. There is a second building just probably, well I, th I think all you can see is the end of it. Uh, and that is uh, where rock is transferred from the main quarry building to there so it can be put in uh, dump trucks to uh, to offload the, the gravel. This is camera three and so it shows you a longer shot. Again you can see the buildings right up here. You can see the open pit down here where the, where the uh, conveyors go. Up in the far corner is a building that is used to service the dump trucks, the huge dump trucks that are on the uh, on the quarry. And uh, if you remember way back, I don't even remember what episode it was, but I built a a generator building, which is going to sit right here, and also sitting right right up in this area somewhere is going to be a, a oil tank storage for for the diesel generators. Um, I posted a bunch of, uh, of, of still photographs on um, on Facebook and one of the one of the uh, the model railroad things that I, I uh, subscribed to. I'm not can't remember which one it was, but it, it was uh, I'm pretty sure it was the N scale model railroaders. Anyway, uh, one of the comments was that this uh, this guy said he well, he works in a in a quarry like this, and so I said to him, well, how do they power that big big shovel? He says it's just plugged into a to the main grid or into a generating station, and it's uh, run by uh, uh, run by electricity. He said it costs over a thousand dollars an hour to run that thing, so it's uh, it's pretty big uh, big uh, chunk of change for the buying. So anyway, today what we're going to do is I'm going to climb up and uh, measure this. I've got the the cork over here. I'm just wondering whether I had the thin piece I could show you close up, but I don't. I just have the big sheet here. And I can't remember where I bought this from. I'm pretty sure it's an Amazon purchase. I'm pretty sure it's an Amazon purchase. Uh, so, without further ado, we're going to switch over to... Now, let me see. I had, I had a big plan for this. I'm trying to remember which one it was. So we're going to go there. I think so. Yep. Yeah. And then we're going to come to there. So, that's looking straight down the ramp towards the the quarry open, uh, pit. The big blue area is where the the crusher uh, fits in. So 
I built a reinforced concrete wall that goes down inside here. Then I 3D printed the crusher itself. It actually goes around this, this way around. And it sits down in there. And then down at the very bottom, there's an opening uh, in this. You can see that there, right there. And that fits around the, uh, the conveyor that's sitting in that opening right now. Uh, also this week, I, uh, I took the time to uh, permanently attach the, the lights, the two lights here, and the flashing red lights on the wall where the trucks have to stop, otherwise they're in the crusher. And up top, and I'm trying to remember which camera would show you this. Anyway, there's another, another dumper where the smaller dump trucks, the, uh, the six-wheel trucks, come up and dump, and it goes into the main quarry building. It also has flashing red lights on it. The building that's got the uh, this, this designed for the um, the repair of vehicles has flashing yellow lights at its door so that people don't back into the door frames. Um, and I'm just going to keep adding lights as I go along. We'll get this done today. Uh, it's mostly going to be just the gluing down and stuff. You, you don't need to see me uh, put powder on again. I did, I did that in, when I was doing the, the floor of the quarry. Um, I did, did try the, the water stuff uh, in the little, little hole. Uh, um, it is uh, let's see where were we going? Right, right, right under my that sort of dull blue patch down there, and it it hasn't set up yet. So uh, when I finish the video, I'm going to put some uh, foam core over top of this to make it contained, and I'm going to put a, a heater and blow warm air over this so that we uh, we can we can get that that. Uh, epoxy to, to set up. I don't think I'm going to make it any deeper. I think it's deep enough. Uh, and uh, and so let's get started here. So, I'm hoping that this won't be a long video but you never know with me. Once I get talking I can be it. It just can't shut me up sometimes. So it's roughly eight centimeters. And so what I'm going to do is eight centimeters by, and I have a tape measure here. By roughly 24 inches. Uh, what is this stuff? Okay. So, I tried several different things to cut cut this uh, this foam or this uh, sorry this uh, this cork and uh, what I've stumbled onto is that these rotary cutters um, where you pull it back and there's a disc that that cuts they do the best job a pair of scissors can be a real nuisance and so I don't use use scissors on this. And uh, when I eventually get to show you um, me uh, making uh, roads for for people to travel on, I'm gonna. Okay. You know what? Sometimes I'm just so disorganized. Oh, what am I doing? I've got them right here. Uh, looking for looking for a marker. Right, right in my apron. Okay, so we're back. So that was roughly eight centimeters. I'm going to make it seven and a half. That'll give me room to, to play around. And seven and a half centimeters. And now I'm going to use my trusty one meter stainless steel ruler which I bought in uh, what was it 
1972 or three, when I was in university, I went to art school. And uh, they were all of us. So you can see as I'm pulling this along, you've got to be careful, you can slice your finger off of this silly thing. So, so I'm going to glue this down with uh, PVA, just straight PVA. Uh, I'm probably going to wet the brush a bit. Uh, but now, you can see we have a strip of cork that will will do us quite well and then uh, I'm going to make that I'm going to cover this area in cork as well but it'll be a different size so we're not worried about that right now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it so it goes over there like that and now I can reach in and see how much of this I've got Now, I'm going to probably just weigh this thing down with, with the vehicles. <laughs> but you can see that that makes a much smoother surface. The only bad thing about this thin cork is it takes very little to damage it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my marker. I'm just going to make a mark so I know where the edge of this stuff is. And I'm going to grab my PVA. So here we have it. One big jug of uh, PVA. I'm trying to figure out. Well, you probably can't see it. Oh, yeah, we all, you can see the bottom. It's down right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this scraper, which is just about the width of the um, of the thin uh, cork, and I'm just going to drag the PVA up, and uh, and then we'll put weights and stuff on it to to make it work. Next week, I'm going to work on this big open pit here. I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to put the, uh, the concrete wall in the the, the uh, crusher and the and the and the cage that goes around the crusher. And I'm going to uh, use my sculpt mold mix and fill in the sides all the way around, so that then we're ready to go. Uh, and I will probably line the bottom of the uh, this opening and this slope with more of this thin uh, cork. So let's get at it. So I know some of you are probably screaming at me, "What the hell are you doing?" But So, and a little bit more. Further down. I gotta be careful what I lean on here because I can push a punch a hole right through it.
Okay. So I got PVA dripping all over the place here. <laughs> like normal one. Alrighty. So here we go. I'm going to clean up the PVA that's dripping and stuff with uh, a wet brush after I get. So, put this down here. And I got a little truck here that's full of rocks. And I'm going to Anything heavier. Oh, look at that. They have a book. Okay. That's a bag of grout. And I'll save the other bag of grout for. Uh, so we'll just put some of the heavier items. Alright, so that works well for that. And now the only thing left to do is to do this area right here. So again, I'm going to get rid of that container. This is a um, it's a, a container with a container office on the top of it and a set of stairs. It's going to sit down in here and be the band, the uh, the place where they control the crusher, and so that's going to have to get moved down. So now I need uh, nine and a half inches by four. So let's go back here again. Grab this, and over here where you probably can't see me. Nine and a half inches. Four. All right. So this will be the last thing we do for the, with this video, because uh, again, you, you've already seen me do the base of the base floor of the of the pit, and that's the same as. Is what I'm going to do uh, once this all sets up. So I, I, I there's no point in you me doing that again. Uh, like I said, we're going to just steadily work our way through. Once I may have, uh, I may be able to get the the floor, this this area, and the ramp covered in its uh, uh, grout mixture, and uh, then. Uh, We'll be able to, you know, work with this a little bit more and make it make it look, look pretty. Put some stuff in here. Um, I'm also going to run uh, one of the videos is going to be me putting in these large lights along the back edge of the quarry towards the cameras. Uh, I'm going to have uh, I think it works out to ten of these lights along that edge and once that's done uh, then we'll we'll pretty well be finished with this area and I'm just wondering whether I'm gonna put the uh, I bought I, I bought Mace Knight uh, it's painted white on one side uh, as uh, to put in a backdrop all along the back of the of this line so anyway I'm gonna cut that piece of uh, cork we're gonna spread out the glue and uh, now we're going to call it quits. Oh, uh, there won't be a video next week. I'm going to take a Christmas break myself. Uh, but, um, like it's a nice fit there. Uh, okay, my knight, I think. Where's my knife? 
Okay, so for the last time today, we will. Where did I put that? Oh, it's over there. Okay. So, I'm gonna put some glue. Grab my uh, little spatula here. These are the. from my favorite hardware supply store. Tire. All right, so we'll just put the, the spatula on this uh, scrap piece of cork. And I see two things I gotta get rid of here immediately. What if I just pull them myself? I've got two uh, T pins that were used to hold this. I gotta be so careful here. I wasn't careful yesterday and I broke I broke something. I had to redo it. Oh where are you? Oh, I'll use one of these. These 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 this, this will probably Necessity is the mother of invention. Yep, that worked. I don't. I want to be able to get the uh, the cork as close to this concrete piece here. Okay, so here we go. Now, like I mentioned in the last video, uh, I talked about these ramps. I've already been soaking some uh, some rocks in some black paint so that uh, so that I can do what they do in the in the mines in uh, in Sudbury. They they line these ramps uh, with large rocks uh, to stop the drivers from driving off the edge of the ramp. I guess. Uh, so for today that's pretty well it I know it wasn't that exciting uh, but it's uh, it's better that I keep these short than punching them up into a couple of hours which nobody's gonna watch so for the rest of, uh, of the week uh, I wish you a Merry Christmas uh, Happy New Year I hope you have uh, a joyous time. Uh, we uh, here in this house, we we've got kids who live far away, uh, and so COVID's keeping them them home. And this will be I'm trying to remember. This is the second or third Christmas where the kids haven't come home. So, but I wish them a merry Christmas as well. And. Uh, to my son, who's out in Saskatchewan, uh, Merry Christmas to his family as well. So, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Subscribing doesn't cost you anything. It just uh, it means you get a notification when I put up a new video. And so, uh, for, with that, I'm just going to uh, step down, and I am going to. 
fade to black. See ya.